Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Asha, Wa, Tuav, Shabbat, Zawam, to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, which consists of your so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your speckled bird Israelite foreigners as well. You are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. So, first and foremost, Kal Halal Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles of the great millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yahshua Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Akim pushing this 100% gospel the world over, risking their life for Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai's sake. Adawan Ratza, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, and this lesson is edifying. So, you know, man, we're, we're in the time of judgment, okay, as you can see, alright, these prophecies are just, you know, playing out, alright, non stop, alright, springing forth, okay, alright, and it's the Lord sending these plagues, these famines, these pestilences, okay. And swift destruction is coming upon the inhabitants, the inhabitants of the earth. Okay, and no one can turn them away. No one is, all right, can escape these things. Can put off these things, all right. And you know, from the article that you can see on your screen, which is dated March the twenty eighth, twenty twenty three, hopeful year that all prophecies do come to pass. All right, all right. And this is from Reuters, a very reputable news media source. Okay. And the headline reads, Ecuador landslide kills at least seven in the Andes, 23 hurt. Okay, so, you know, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai is not playing around. Alright, and that's why, you know, our people, you know, the Israelites, you know, it's high time that you repent. <coughs> Alright, and seek your power ten times more. Okay, so, if we go further down in this article, it says, A landslide triggered by heavy rains in Ecuador's Andean region killed at least seven people. With 23 people hurt and almost 50 missing. Alright, and that's, you know, the statistics that they brought out. But, you know, it could be it could be 100% accurate or not. Alright, we'll see because, you know, there's still more missing. And, you know, later on those could be pronounced dead, you never know. So it says the country's risk agency said on Monday in a revised report on Twitter. Earlier, the agency reported that 16 people had died as a, as a result of the landslide in the city of Alossi in Ecuador's Chimborazo province. It did not explain the reasons for the revision, but it did say that 32 people were rescued after a large amount of earth swept down on parts of the city of Loshi on Sunday night. Alright, you know, the Lord's dispatching, you know, these angels to these spirits to, you know, wreak havoc and send out judgment. Okay, because things take place in the spirit before it manifests in the flesh. Alright, on earth. Alright. It says it's a statement on Twitter hiked on uh, the number of missing to 46 from 7 in its previous report. Uh, in all, 500 people and 163 houses were affected, the agency said. Okay. We have had to witness a terrible tragedy, Transport Minister Dario Herrera told Reuters in Alossi. The first thing is to attempt to evacuate people from the houses. Rescue workers searched for survivors in the rubble, aided by dogs in some areas. Most houses were completely buried by earth, according to a Reuters witness. One stadium was completely buried after the mudslide, while another venue used for sports and music events collapsed. Alright, so that goes to your bread and circuses. Okay. You know, all these, uh, you know, sports and entertainment uh, events that take place that we saw Edom has you, you know, participating and you know, get all wrapped up in, which, you know, here and there, it's okay to, you know, watch sports and breeze back and relax and stuff, but if you're going to put your whole mind, heart and soul into that, you know, not seek Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahshai, then judgment, of course, will rain down, okay, so, um, it says, heavy rains have destroyed roads, bridges, and other infrastructure across Ecuador, President Guillermo Guillermo Lasso earlier this month declared a state of emergency in the 14 provinces worst affected by the severe weather and strong earthquake. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much on that article. Alright, so we're in that time, you know. We're certainly in that time. So uh, what I'm going to do is get a precept in the book of Luke, chapter 21. That's when it loads up. Uh, <coughs> and verse... I think it's verse 10 or 11. So Luke chapter 21 and verse 10. And look at the subheading, things to come. Alright, so that's the spirit. Now these are the words of Yahweh Shai. Okay. 
So then said he unto them, all right, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what we're seeing. Okay. Missiles being tested, like new, uh, North Korea, all right. You know, you've got other military arsenal and vehicles that are, are being, you know, gathered and, again, tested and being used, all right. Submarines, you know, you can include that, all right, around the coast of Australia, all right. Flying into different airspace, things like that. Fle uh, flexing their, you know, their uh, military vehicles and weapons. Alright, verse 11, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, okay, and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Alright, so these are the signs that, you know, the Lord is, is sending. Okay. So let's go to Psalms chapter 9, verse 16. The Lord Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executeth. Alright, because, you know, the Lord has, you know, both sides to him, good and evil. Okay. So it says, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higayim Salah, right, interlude. Alright, so the wicked right, are going to get their just, pun uh, just punishment, and they always do. Alright. Verse 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget the Most High. Alright. So that's how you know that when these things happen, man, it's the Lord that does them. He's the author of it. All right. And you can throw our people in the wicked too. Two thirds in Babylon the Great and other rebellious Israelites scattered everywhere else in the world that don't want to take heed. All right. That want to cleave on to this place. Captivity. All right. Things like this should vex your spirit. All right. And, and uh, you know, call upon Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Get uh, another another article because this is just you know ramping up, man. This is uh, from CBSnews.com. It says seven killed in Pennsylvania chocolate factory explosion. Officials say March the twenty seventh, two thousand and twenty three. You can see from uh, the interactive video on the website playing. Okay, blast leaves seven dead. So, um, <coughs> let's scroll down a bit. It says, four more people have been found dead following a chocolate factory explosion in West Reading, Pennsylvania. Babylon the Great, last week, raising the death toll to seven. All right. Officials said Sunday night all previously missing persons had been accounted for as of Sunday night. Rescue crew, crews worked overnight in inspect, sorry, to inspect the rubble at the RM Palmer Company and discovered a fourth victim beneath debris early on Sunday morning, said West Reading Police Chief Wayne Holborn, said during a news conference earlier Sunday morning, the individual was pronounced dead at the scene. Okay. Crews are continuing their diligent effort in sifting through the debris in order to locate any additional individuals, the police chief said, adding that crews are fully committed to this task and will do everything in our power to ensure that we bring closure to all those involved. Alright. Obviously now there's a lot more. You know, information as well, which I won't go through, you know. But yeah, this, the people of this world, man, they don't fear Yahweh, Shai. The majority of our people also do not fear the Lord, okay? So, you know, it's only a matter of time before judgment is brought. You know, things of that nature. Okay. Let's get another scripture. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, which reads, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's right, because no, no one and nothing can prevent you from being judged by the Lord. Okay. From him are the issues of death. Okay, it can give you something worse than death. Alright, things that you won't even be able to handle. Alright. Can plague you with mental problems. Alright. Anything, any issues that he has, any you know, any way of uh, punishing you, all right, that's how I should say it, okay, he can bring to you, all right, there's nothing you can do to turn that away, all right, let's get uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12, 
okay, for man also knoweth not his time. That's right, because, you know, we're here for a moment, okay, and then gone in the next. We don't know what's going to happen to us tomorrow, all right, or even in 10 minutes from now. You can step outside and something terrible could happen to you, all right. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net, right, because fishes, you know, they swim around. They don't know when a net's going to come take them, some fishermen, all right. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falls suddenly upon them, okay. And, you know, these people, man, they they just walk in their pride and their ignorance, okay? And think that nothing's going to happen to them, right? It's only a matter of time, okay? We try to, you know, teach our people. Some will understand, you know, some will get it. That's why it's only for the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? All right? Try to teach them the way, but, you know, the ones who are meant to hear it will obviously hear it. Alright, so uh, yep, I'm just going to leave that there, I mean I don't want to rattle that, this lesson was edifying, again double honours to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach our nation well, and in closing all praises, glory and honour goes to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukah, Kodash, with that, Shalom, stay prayed up, pray for one another, pray for the apostles, keep fighting, keep studying, and keep pushing, okay, so, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Ababa Ball, Shabbat Shalom.